Yes. Today, we start with the general um, introductions on the uh, Buddha's teachings and those different kind of uh, school or traditions. I think I speak basically, we all know uh, Theravada traditions, Mahayana traditions, Vajrayana traditions. Out of these trees, um, if we really uh, analyze the Theravada traditions, in fact, with this time, there are or there were um, 18 different classes uh, within the uh, Sharvakas. In fact, the general um, the group of this category called Sharvakas, there are 18. Out of 18 now, these days, like Thailand, Singapore, uh, Sri Lanka, Burma, and so on, and this kind of countries, major, 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 majority in these countries, practices uh, the, the Theravada traditions. Out of 18 classes, now only left is Theravada. And then Mayana, mainly in China, Japan, Korea, Singapore, Taiwan, and, and part of India, in Nepal, and Tibet, and so on. Uh, yes, the Mayana, basically mainly Japan, China, Korea, Vietnam, you know, and, and related uh, neighbor countries, yes. Vajrayana um, is in fact uh, originated in India after Buddha, um, uh, after Buddha attended the state of enlightenment and giving teaching for very selected uh, disciples or selected uh, practitioners who are really capable of these kind of practices. And, and therefore never given as a public uh, teachings, rather selected uh, disciple. And therefore it was not really uh, flourished or propagated during the Buddha's time. However, then after Buddha's, then um, the second Buddha's group at Masambhava, who then propagated these Vajrayana uh, um, uh, in Tibet from India, then later on came to or flourish in Tibet, yes. All these, <clears throat> uh, these different kind of schools or traditions, all of course originated from the uh, Buddha Shakyamuni, the fourth Buddha, yes. And now, uh, talking about the Buddhas, uh, in our, these eons, there, there, there will be uh, another 996 uh, Buddhas yet to come, and four Buddhas already came in these eons, and thousand, so which makes thousand Buddhas, thousand Buddhas, the thousand Bodhisattvas uh, who uh, uh, met uh, great vows that uh, different kinds of time, different kinds of uh, yeah, different at the time in our eons, they, they choose uh, according to their um, uh, capacity, uh, according to their uh, aspirations. Then the the fourth Buddha Shakyamuni came uh, just twenty six century before. Um, so out of these thousand Buddhas, uh, the fourth Buddha Shakyamuni, who was born in Lumbini. Uh, and later on, uh, born as a prince, and later on left all the kingdom, seeing the difficulties, problems uh, in uh, in kingdom, and uh, and the different kind of suffering problems facing by the inhabitants or, or the problems between neighbor countries and so on. Then renounced this uh, king, king as a prince life and the future uh, universal king, and then uh, left from Nepal and to then uh, India, yes. So now there are a story, long story about how he left and then uh, after first where he reached and then we um, started his practice, te receiving teachings so on, but this is not our topic, main topic so today. Um, but now main topic is the introduction of the, 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 the Buddhism and especially the Vajrayana. So after attending, after Buddha attained, Yes, the Buddhahood state, 
then become fully enlightened being, then started to give the teachings. Yes, the first Buddha's uh, the teachings uh, that uh, the Buddha gave the first teaching somehow in public teaching. Yes, but individual teaching there are different kind of you know uh, 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 teachings that Buddha shared even before the uh, form of a truth. Different places, different uh, beings, uh, but as a public ceremony. Then the first teaching was given in human world for noble truth at all part. Yes, why would they share for noble truth in the, in the, for the first uh, during the first ceremony teaching? And after Buddha attended uh, the realization, then Buddha was uh, uh, wow, such a uh, profound and peace, peaceful and serenity kind of realizations that Buddha gained. And that realizations free from conceptual thoughts or conceptual elaborations uh, and it is a luminosity. So after Buddha gained these realizations, then to whom you know Buddha can share this knowledge or this uh, the, the realization of the experiences, then would the look at this world, our world, would the found nobody would understand this. Why? Because that time, whole world or Buddha's time, that, that time that the people were orientated too much on the um, uh, theistic view, everything exists. And lots of background of uh, background uh, uh, influential background in their life related with the different kind of uh, existence, true existence, different kind of uh, gods, different kind of uh, whatever they are experiencing, both suffering and happiness depends on rather external god than one's own, you know. Uh, 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 accumulation, so one's own uh, made out of or a source of or one's own accumulated, uh, uh, but rather everything theistic is therefore Buddha's thing. Okay, nobody will understand these kind of realizations. So Buddha thought, Oh, such a nectar that I found or experience or again realization. So pity that if I share, nobody would understand. So now the best is I do not share, you know, I just now stay by myself and then with a remain in meditation and, you know, without speaking that. Okay, then Buddha decided to go to Varanasi. They were, these five practitioners were in Varanasi and Buddha was in Bodh Gaya, and then Buddha started the journey from Bodh Gaya to Varanasi, which uh, one park, deer park, where lots of animals, uh, in former times, animal deer, uh, is called a deer park, a forest with lots of deers. And there are so, there, are, there were so many different kind of uh, uh, self realizer uh, Buddha, yes. Um, they meditated basically uh, after they received the um, teachings and they, they, they then stay in isolation and then meditate until they gain some realizations. So this kind of like uh, uh, Patekya Buddha in, in Sanskrit we call Patekya. Patekya means self, yes, only, only um, emphasizing on the self realizations rather than the helping be, uh, other beings. So this uh, place with the uh, from what both guided to the this uh, Varanasi or this deer park, Buddha started the journey and then uh, reached there. Then Buddha started to share the what Buddha shared was like um, the truth of what all the human being were experiencing, different kind of problems, different kind of difficulties, different kind of sufferings. The truth of these things first thing, okay? And then the cause of, the origin of these difficulties, these problems, 
so far human beings are not able to know the true cause or the origin of these problems therefore they are not they, they somehow uh, couldn't sort of free from these suffering problems since everybody wish to overcome the suffering problem you have to we have to know the origin of these suffering problems so Buddha said the second the 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 the, the teaching is let's say the origin of these suffering of problems here yeah? since we do not uh, uh yeah so that these two noble truth teachings out of the four noble truth teachings that these two the first and second are one set which means the 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 origin of all the suffering problems because of this origin of suffering or cause of suffering problems or the result of suffering problem sicknesses that we ex are experiencing is so that is one com one complete and one set of being in this samsara being in this sickly existence is if so long we are in this sickly existence this samsara these are the one set causes and effect yes okay. Buddha now focus on what the emptiness uh, the reality emptiness the ultimate uh, reality but meanwhile relative level love kindness compassion uh, yes uh, so, so basically the um, bodhisattva's practices bodhisattva practices um, bodhisattva a way of uh, life bodhisattva actually avatar in a very famous um, the Shand, great shanti deva you know who who uh, who um, uh, met a great commentary on the Buddha's teachings, how one Bodhisattva can is from the ordinary level of Bodhisattvas or the very just a born baby Bodhisattvas to the great and maha maha or means a great great Bodhisattva like a Konyimpusa or like the great Buddha uh, level, how one can reach that kind of Bodhisattva, Chari Avatara meaning that kind of Bodhisattva way of life is so Basically, that Mahayana practice emphasized on the the one, the conduct, all kind of uh, uh, the moral um, uh, conduct based on the you know uh, the reality or, or the emptiness. Uh, one side, another side. Meanwhile, uh, the relative level, love, kindness, compassions. You know, we try to really engage into every day or day to day life our Buddhist speech mind actions so Mayana basically the teaching based on these kind of you know uh, the, 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 the teachings and the people uh, who are able to understand this emptiness and who are able to do some something um, kind of like more than self uh, interest or more than self-centered attitude rather other centered attitude so those beings having them you know in Rashgriha would they get this second teaching which so since the human existence is the best uh, as all the Buddhas not only Buddha Shakyamuni all the Buddhas who attend state of enlightenment or state of Buddhahood the, they are the, 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 the final um, the, uh, the, the existence is Final existence they use out of the different kind of uh, classes or beings, the human classes of being, yes, human existence. All the Buddhas became Buddha from human form, yes. So, therefore, Buddha really emphasized on the first thing is the precious human existence, that it is so precious, so valuable, yes, uh, full of potential, yes, a marvelous uh, intelligence that can really, you know. Uh, become Buddha like Buddha Shakyamuni himself, yes, or different kind of Buddhism, uh, uh, let's say uh, Konyifusa or, or Tara and so on, yes. Uh, so the, these, uh, the nature we have, uh, let's say the the nature is uh, the every single being's nature, basically the basic nature, fundamental nature is Buddha nature, yes, and this nature is equally pervasive to in or, or inherent to every sentient beings regardless of whatever capacity whatever you know existence form they possess every beings possess 
this in this fundamental nature everybody every beings uh, inherited this uh, buddha nature nature with the moment this nature is hidden with so many layer of obscurations or illusions or habitual pattern that we have created with our, our mind or our nature who we are basically buddha was giving teaching the first sermon the profound and the peaceful in sarnath second sermon in rajagriha the Paramita or Heart Sutra, which is uh, uh, free from the conceptual elaborations. Then the third sermon, the Vajrayana, the Luminosity. Yes, so Luminosity here, now if we go deeper, then the Tantra of the Kriya, Charya, Yo, Antara, Yo, four, four levels of Tantra practices. You know? So this, all the teaching basically Buddha gave, depending on how one can, you know, um, how one can really help uh, for certain others. Of course, some very slow way uh, uh, cannot really point out immediately or directly, rather need sometimes, you know, some different kind of preparations. For example, the, the first sermon, everything exists. Yes, everything exists because that time uh, more or less uh, beings are uh, human beings are really oriented with the fixations yes theistic sort of view so Buddha taught the first sermon based on theistic view basically everything exists this exists that exists everything exists yes based on this existence Buddha gave these teachings yes followed by the uh, second sermon more little more direct yes Second sermon, the the, the um, Heart Sutra teaching on the emptiness and interdependent originations, and then the and for that the unit un, unit unity the union of the the relative level the law of kindness compassions as a body of practices the ultimate level the, the reality of the emptiness this unity is yes, that way um, uh, introduce uh, the, uh, the, the 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 true nature. Of all the phenomena, true nature of self, true nature of you know whatever the belonging, all the aggregates, um, uh, and so on. And so uh, here, mainly that uh, in order to uh, reveal this beautiful uh, the inherent nature, so uh, the uh, to apply that now that we have to apply the natural way, not an artificial one, nor by fixation nor by creating something completely unrealistic yes we have to follow the path of the true nature to discover that true nature so so you know so buddha was giving basically uh, that kind of um, uh, explanations that kind of teachings to recognize you know that true nature that we have it's a little bit example like a it's a little bit example like a um, um uh, example like um, maybe orange orange when you peel the skin then the inner part of the orange that is now the fruition that is the what we have to eat yes uh, so only possible to eat when you peel the skin of the orange similarly example like that the, the, like the in, inside this orange that the, when you peel the skin that is kind of the true nature of who we are. That needs to be used, or that is what we need to uh, uh, attain or uh, again the realizations. For that, the different kind of obscurations like uh, uh, this, um, the skin of the orange. So that then, generosity, morality, or discipline, and then the patience, and the uh, uh, diligence, uh, and the meditations, or is yes, something the meditative state, uh, some meditations, concentrations, and then the uh, wisdoms. So these six perfections, mainly in bodhisattva practice, uh, or Mahayana uh, practitioners, we start with the generosity, and followed by these six perfections. Yes. So, uh, so now the um, talking about the Buddha's. Uh, the third uh, part of the realizations, the luminosity. 
is so the luminosity now direct, direct with the Vajrayana teaching, which is very uh, uh, very much orientated with the skillful means. You know, it's very common. It's very similar to my other teachings. We are talking about emptiness and different kind of the the Buddhist practices. Rather, uh, plus that is there are lots of skillful means and methods where adept and more sort of like powerful uh, and direct sort of like approaching yes powerful in a directly approaching the the or the original uh, the, the nature of who we are in order to get or reach that nature we use uh, some more kind of like uh, some more kind of like skillful methods or means and the more kind of direct approaching so that is now the Vajrayana, yes, in fact, what, is, uh, what Vajrayana here, the teaching emphasizes is the dualistic uh, view, yes, dualistic view, uh, that what we need to now transform is these, um, the fundamental sort of like uh, mind, which is now at the moment, we, ha we are uh, bounded with the dualistic view. So that dualistic view of net, we need to uh somehow release or untie or you know open up that that sort of like trap and for that then different kind of methods now uh, uh we use in a kriya charya yoga antara yoga for, for different kind of the tantric practice, uh, level of practices so uh, uh so dealing with our uh destructive emotions yes and and uh, these destructive emotions control the thoughts and emotions is yes, our thoughts and emotions related with our activities or our actions so so everything is talking everything that like all the teachings are trying to build up a new pattern contrary to uh, uh countering attack to uh, uh the, the 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 following uh, pattern that we have built up since many years in this life, many lives, and so on. Yes, the view, duality mind, that we have to adjust this dualistic view, this dualistic mind. And because uh, this pattern that we have built up everything, all kind of memories, all kind of habit, yes, uh, that habitual tendency, based on this pattern that we built up, yes, cause, uh, uh, a uh, lot of problems, sufferings for self and others. In fact, you know, bestless. There's no any, uh, you know, best basis that the, the reality is something else. Or, uh, uh, but you know, because of uh, uh, somehow um, unrealistic view, unrealistic projection, or let's say nowadays very common is misunderstanding. Oh, sorry, that was my misunderstanding. We, we always say this is, yes? in fact, the same thing like that. So far, we, are, we have been suffering <laughs> because of our misunderstanding on this nature. So, where we, where, what is this misunderstanding? Misunderstanding is this dualistic view. In fact, this dualistic view are not in a reality, but we, the confused state of mind, and this ignorance, this patent, habituated sort of like the experiences that we build up, yes, that cause this misunderstanding or that kind of projection, that kind of understanding, which cause lots of suffering problems for us all, self and others. So was there an approach? Approach is let's say to to really dismantle this journalistic concrete view, yes. Uh, so now it is like this. Once you have mis misunderstanding on something, and because of this misunderstanding, then you know you you uh, uh, develop uh, 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 the 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 problems. You know more and more, more and more, more and more, more and more, more and bigger and bigger, and far the relation between you know whatever the family or friends or whatever family relationship because of one misunderstanding then added one another two another three another four another then you know far and far far and far and then the problem also get in one another two another three are different kind of problem you ate and then the bigger and bigger so on similarly 
same thing. We also, because of this, not knowing the truth of who we are, this basic Buddha nature, not seeing, not getting the realizations, and because of these unrealistic projections, this dualistic view, and this kind of misunderstanding, then now this question, this memory, this habit becomes stronger, 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 and these destructive emotions, such as anger, hatred, jealousy, and so on, becomes more powerful, more powerful, they become habituated, and then they become, then that way, they kind of like blockage, you know, that way, then you see, uh, they become very strong uh, blockage to uh, realizing uh, and connecting to this true nature, who we are, in fact, no different than Buddha, yes? So it is like the, the, the wall between our nature, uh, the way things are and the way uh, we see things, you know. So, uh, so, so that is now we are trying to, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, deal with the support of the different kind of meditations, different kind of Vajrayana uh, practices, of course, depending on our mental disposition, one thing, and our um, um, emotions also, yes. Um, so yeah, Vajrayana practices, different kind of uh, tantric practices, you know, the result of who we can be, such as Buddha, Konyambhusa, Dhitumo, or so on, that these are the result. We can also become like them. So that result we bring into the, while we are practicing, you know, that, that kind of unique, practice uh, cannot be found in Mahayana and Theravada. Yes, that is now the very unique way of, um, and unique way or direct way that one can, how do you say, touch the result of the, our realization of our accomplishment, who we can become, yes. And for that, um, of course, Theravada practice of the law of causality are uh, very, very helpful for Vajrayana practice and Mayana practice of accumulation of merits and purifications. Also very, very important for Vajrayana uh, uh, practice. And Theravada way of practicing to discipline our physical, you know, uh, behavior, conduct, uh, which can help not to uh, do any wrong uh, actions from body or speech or mind, which is beautiful, which is also uh, uh, somehow uh, uh, helpful for many different kind of practitioners. Yes, uh, uh, intention is very good. The physical behavior, are, uh, even not so uh, um, beautiful, good. Uh, uh, but still, according to my Anna, you can still do. You can, you should do. You know, uh, accord, you should follow more to the intention or motivation than the physical appearances. Physical. Whereas Mayana, you can use the logic, you can reason, you can, uh, uh, you can question yourself. Does it make sense or not? You can investigate. Uh, all these kind of teachings Buddha giving in Sanskrit, Sanskrit traditions, what, what, what we call now Paramita Heart Sutra, you know, Sanskrit traditions. Paramita, of course, we have in Chinese language and so on, but Sanskrit, Sanskrit traditions, which is with us given directly, yes. And here, of course, in general, uh, yes, you shouldn't kill, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do all this kind of the physical outlook looks not so good, of course, you avoid. But now here you see, in order to save millions of people, yes, um, 
uh, that someone is going to damage whole world, example, or there was a story like Buddha, 499 Buddha and 500 people, you know, in, 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 uh, in, in a big uh, uh, ship, yes? And just to, that one of these 500 uh, uh, people, members, one of these people wanted to kill all the 499, you know, for the for the for the for the for the property is yes? you know that because they they, they collect lots of um, precious gems uh, from the uh, islands yes and gold and, and different kind of the uh, let's say diamonds example like that and the Buddha knew oh now he's going to kill all the 499 if he kills all 499 he is going to accumulate immense negative karma and result need to suffer a lot, 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 lot that negative karma result. And at the same time, 499 people are going to die also. For that, if I kill one person, 499 people can be saved. He also need no need to face this negative karma. And I, you know, kind of like more kind of like, you know, uh, even I have to face this karma, you know, I, I would do because, you know, as a Bodhisattva, of course, is yes. So, kind of like, uh, more or less, you know, that you take all kind of the, the suffering into you, even though the killing is not good, but in such a situations, killing use Buddha's logic, reason, as, yes, and then Buddha uh, thought. To save the 499 people, for that person who is going to have huge negative karma, impact because of killing the father and the yes so buddha sacrifice although the killing not good but i killed that person you see in my and this is possible you know similarly this is just an example similarly so long your intention meaning so your motivation is clear pure genuine yes like bodhisattva's uh, attitude yes bodhisattva's uh, altruism attitude the outer look outlook behavior immediate outlook behaviors may not be very uh, beautiful or or very uh, 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 correct but more depends on the motivation and intentions you see so now Majayana, on top of that even more you see uh, how to say uh, still my and there are you know, still lots of different kind of outlook behavior very you know uh, beautiful and very correct order but Majayana then you know <laughs> <laughs> There's not really such a beautiful outlook, you know. You, as long as you know that you can deal with something that is helpful for your journey towards enlightenment, whether you are in a, you know, a whatever form, whatever appearances, yes, doesn't matter at all. So all the you see the Indian masters, the eighty masters, all the yogi. Uh, from the different kind of you know uh, you know ancient times you know and the different kind of these Tibetan yogis or Vajrayana practitioners all you know they are not really good kind of like system you know it's it's you know the way they practice then the, there's the, the the all kind of these the, the practices there in fact there's no one um, kind of like system systematical sort of like practice a, a very good way of Theravada or Mayana, they do have this kind of very beautiful way of, let's say, singing or kind of practicing meditations, all, you know, somehow organized in a very beautifully, you know, beautiful way. But in Vajrayana, there is, there isn't, you know, there aren't much. Of course, nowadays, you, you somehow build up, you know, according to the way you are in the country where you are, people, depending on the people, the, 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 the culture that you can build up. Because, so it means what? Vajrayana can be any form, any different kind of practice, you know, even though the, you know, outlook can be like, a, in fact, some, some practitioners is like a, uh, uh, let's say, a fisherman, some practitioner as a prostitute, some practitioner as a, as a, as a farmer, you know, some practitioners, Vajrayana, great uh, masters, like a, you know, like a Marpa, uh, ordinary, looks like, outer, outlook is ordinary, um, uh, persons, you know, who has ordinary life, looks like ordinary life, or sometimes also like a farmer. Marpa usually, you know, spends time also in a, um, in, a, in a farm, as a farmer, 
all all um all some some of these what you the masters even like a, how do you say uh beggar beggar you know they, they also look like beggar you know so different kinds of you know appearances there is no one way and outlook they do not care at all in fact whatever it is helpful for their minds to transform the buddha or this different kind of the 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 Vajrayan aspect of the buddhas yes peaceful radical union single whatever so long it is helpful for journey towards enlightenment that is fine you see so the differences in theravada mahayana Vajrayana are like that yes so in in, in china uh, hangzhou there, there's a temple you know this uh qigong qigong yeah uh, so these qigong masters eat meat drink uh, uh, alcohol yeah <laughs> and then but in fact all these helps you know the the realization to uh, the, uh, the enlightenment yes so although you know the, the outlook is you know looks very like dirty or, or, or like a beggar you know uh, and then but the inner realization is you know fully enlightened everything so Qing Kong in the Hangzhou, the temple. Uh, similarly, and then the Mahayana uh, 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 example is like Tangse Lama. Tangse, Tangse Lama, yeah? Tangse Lama with the monkey and pig and this story, you know? The, the, the monkey and pig uh, traveling from China to, to, to India for the Dharma. So this is, he's like a truly Mahayana uh, Sifu, yeah? And then Vajrayana is like, China is like this Qigong. <laughs> so okay so with this for the introductions of the Theravada with the Maya and especially more about Vajrayana so yeah so I thank you for uh, organizing uh, um, Dharma uh, sharing uh, from Karma Kunjabling from China Hongzhou and we will continue the next uh, uh, Friday okay, okay.